What about the market? We're sticking by to that 7200 mark. It's a good breath as well that you have at your hands this morning. It's Jindal Steel, it's Strides Arcolab, Work Hard Pharma, Just Dial, Hindalco, the beaten down names, which are seeing a nice strong bout of shot covering. And they are the ones which are actually holding out. Oracle Finance, Titan, Idea, Adani Ports, UBL, they're the sulkers in trade today. But it's Cipla which is in focus and Cipla's UK arm has closed the transaction to acquire two US-based companies. Uh, that's Invergen as well as Excellent Pharma as well. So we spoke with Among Vora, global CEO at Cipla on what the likely impact on the overall revenue is going to be like. We've taken debt largely for this transaction, uh, and we funded uh, this through a debt raising in our uh, over, in our entity overseas, and that's the entity that's bought this uh, this company in the U.S. Um, you know, I don't, I'm not sure how much of a future cash flow would be the right question. I think we feel that how we funded this deal, uh, the entities, uh, the the money from what we make out of this entity in the in terms of cash flow in the future would be enough to fund. Uh, to give us the payback that we want from this deal. So, uh, how much debt have you taken and how does uh, the debt equity ratio change for Cipla now? So, the debt equity ratio would still be sh uh, shy of 0.5, right, uh, which is a f quite a favorable risk profile. Uh, but it was always our intention to take debt uh, to, to the max that we could to finance this acquisition. See, the big concern that the market had was the Form 483 that uh, Invagen has got. Uh, tell us what's the update there, uh, what, what is exactly happening there, and what is the situation as of now? So the Form 483 had observations that we had diligenced, and we kept signaling this through without being able to speak of it. Uh, the observations were procedural. Uh, they are... Uh, we believe that, uh, you know, hopefully an EIR should be forthcoming uh, to close out the observations of the Invagen 483 of the, uh, deal. So in the contract, is there any term stating that, you know, in case there is a warning letter or an import alert, I'm just saying uh, hypothetically, uh, does this deal still go through or are there provisions that CIPLA has in terms of liability for this or does uh, Hetero will have to pay for it? What exactly are the provisions? So there are no provisions specific to this, right? There's a, there are, in most deals, there are general provisions of good standing for the company. Uh, since we were aware of this, uh, I think we've diligenced it very well. Uh, we actually think that hopefully, uh, you know, the closeout for the, from the inspection will happen soon. We've gone through the, uh, the answers that have been given. Uh, and we frankly think that the company is on the path of, uh, of, of addressing uh, and getting remediated on this. So there are no, so A, I don't think the observations were material and significant for us to worry about them at all. Uh, you and the press release have said that this deal will be EPS secretive. Uh, how, what are the finances that uh, as of now for Invagen and how are you seeing this uh, integration happen with uh, Invagen in the U.S. markets? So EPS secretive because the current business has a, has a fairly favorable EBITDA profile. And then on top of that, uh, you know, we're selling about 32 products in the U.S. There are 30 more which are pending to be launched. We should be launching about 10 odd in the next uh, uh, in the next financial year, FI17. Um, and as we speak, we're actually trying to launch a product just after closing. Uh, so I think the, uh, you know, we feel good about uh, just the number of products that will be launched. They're almost equal in number to the ones that are launched, and the current revenue profile is 230 million. Uh, so it is secretive today. Even if you were to just take today's business, it's secretive, right, uh, for us. And with the future launches coming in, I think we could grow this business uh, in the future. So uh, will Invagen numbers be part of the consolidated fourth quarter number for Zipla? Yes, we will report Invagen as part of consolidated numbers, and uh, we had always maintained our guidance not including Invagen uh, for the year. And I think in the next year we'll signal something with both the entities combined. Okay, so guidance of 20 to 22 percent revenue growth and 100 to 150 basis margin improvement uh, is not including inv Invagen. You're saying Cipla as a standalone entity with Metro will be able to do this and Invagen is not included. Yeah, we never signaled the guidance with Invagen at the beginning of FI uh, six, uh, 16. So we're not going to come back and say that our guidance had to include this now. We're not going to do that. Uh, what about the product uh, profile? Uh, you know, uh, what products does Cipla have? Uh, what does Invagen have uh, in the next uh, four to five months? And, you know, as a combined entity, uh, how will you tackle the U.S. markets? So there is minimal overlap between the Cipla portfolio uh, and the Invagen portfolio. Um, 
the uh, you know, we think that this business for us in the U.S., including what we will sell directly and what we will sell through partners, could be in the range of about $400 million. Um, and I think uh, that range, it's not, it's not really big, but it's critically sized for us in the U.S. And our aim is to really grow this significantly so that as CIPLA grows, the U.S. becomes almost 25% of our share of revenues. Um, and therefore, you know, looking at what's coming off patent in the U.S., which is the respiratory franchise um, and products, as well as the, the HIV products, as well as the oncology products. I think CIPLA is well positioned and advantaged to compete in these areas. Uh, what about, uh, give us more clarity on uh, with your partnership with Camber, because, you know, imagine most of the retail sales comes in from Camber. Uh, at a future stage, some of these products will come into CIPLA. So there is a high chance that, you know, there will be price erosion, there will be loss of market share. So how does this deal work uh, with uh, Camber? So, I, there, it's a phased transition. A uh, large part of uh, the, the sale to the customers will move from Camber to our own front end in the U.S. Uh, uh, and I think most of that transition will happen relatively quick. A little bit of it will take a little longer to close out, depending on customer needs, not so much on integration. So Camber uh, distribution will eventually stop in the U.S., with the majority of it moving out. Uh, relatively soon, uh, within the next month or so. Right? And therefore, CIPLA by itself will be selling these products in the front end uh, in the U.S. Uh, what about the deal with uh, Hetero? Because, you know, uh, Invagen takes a lot of API from Hetero. Uh, they need high tonnage API, while Hetero is a low-cost producer for API. So how does the dynamic change here? Are you looking at other suppliers, or are you going to continue with this partnership? So, by and large, I think uh, the, hetero part, the hetero API sale to Invagen should continue, right? Uh, and uh, as part of the agreement, it's contemplated that it would continue. Uh, and uh, there are some areas where, obviously, as we go for future products, that, you know, the choice uh, would be left to Invagen, whether they would continue to with hetero or not continue with hetero. Other than just Invagen, CIPLA has a very deep relationship with Hetero as well to buy APIs, right? So it's not just a partnership which is founded uh, on the, uh, with the Invagen business. I think the CIPLA current business with Hetero is, is far larger in terms of API than the business between Invagen and Hetero. That's, of course, CIPLA talking to ET now and giving us their rationale of this deal. It will be EPA secretive. Uh, it helps them move up their U.S. presence over a period of time to 20% from the current sub-10%. So win-win deal so far uh, as it looks optically. Let's see how they execute it. Win-win uh, for persistent as well. 